Hey y'all, come make this easy creamy mashed sweet potato with me. I hope all is well, so let's get into it. So for this recipe, you're going to need sweet potatoes. We have some, some salt, parsley, a little brown cinnamon, maple syrup to sweeten, or you can use brown sugar or um, granulated sugar if you'd like, some heavy cream, butter, this is unsalted butter, and then some mayonnaise as well. So let's get into the video. So in a pot you're going to put water to come to a boil and then you're going to be putting some salt in there to taste and you, once that comes to a boil then you're going to put your peeled potatoes in. So we're going to be peeling our potatoes like so. Just remove the outer skin, wash in water and then cut um, in a little bit of smaller pieces so it's easier to boil. You just continue to do that for the other potatoes. You can also use a vegetable peeler like so. This may be easier than with the knife but this works as well. Peel them like so. So now that we've washed our potatoes, then you just cut them in some big chunks like this because you don't want them to become too mashed in the boiling water. So you just cut them like so. Put them in your boiling water. Just gonna go ahead and put them in now. And you cook until they're tender. Cover. So it's been 20 minutes. You can see that they're all cooked. So we're going to drain and then we'll get into making so my fork goes through it. See? We have drained our potatoes and then I'm using about five tablespoon of butter. So I can always break that up some. So it's easier to get over, over potatoes and so then we're going to add about a tablespoon of mayonnaise and then we're just going to start to break it up to make sure our butter gets melted. Like so. And this is unsalted butter, so I'll add a little bit of salt to it. So 
to know that it's going in. Then we'll go ahead and add a little salt. And add some heavy whipping cream. Just a tad bit. And then we'll add our maple syrup. You can add brown sugar if you would like. Then add a little bit of cinnamon. Not too much. And then we come in with our food masher here. And just mix this up like so. Then you just taste to see if it needs anything. Mm, so good. And there is the finished product. It's so delicious. Remember to subscribe, turn on that notification so you do not miss anything. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.